It won't be wrong to say that Chainsaw Man is the most hyped anime of 2022. The manga is already celebrated among the otakus, but if you are someone who prefers anime, MAPPA got you covered. And let us be the ones to tell you why Chainsaw Man should be on your next watch. Number 7, Emotional Weight and Trauma. I wish I could say that Chainsaw Man will make you happy, even though it certainly will because of its action and carnage. Beneath the carnage, the fast-paced fights, and the devil hunting, the emotional stakes of Chainsaw Man are high and personal. The characters who all desperately need a hug and a better life. It hurts to see them suffer in any capacity and you wish nothing but good things for them. However, that's not the case. MAPPA brings these characters to life will absolutely be stunning and beautiful and my heart will not be able to handle it. This is a good thing. Only few works can capture the visceral aspects of emotion quite like MAPPA does and bring that talent to a story bursting at the seams with so much emotional weight. Many anime after big fights just skip over the process or just touch on the surface of how the characters are dealing with the loss or processing what they have done to achieve their goals. We have rarely seen characters affected by believable trauma and fear after a fight. Chainsaw Man checked that box. The most common gripe that we have with anime. Number 6, Heartfelt Coming of Age Humor. Chainsaw Man may surprise some that it's also part coming of age story despite the craziness of the premise and action. It's certainly no slice of life, but in the midst of all the brutality and gore is a pleasantly surprising and heartfelt coming of age story for Denji that resonates emotionally. Devils and Chainsaw Men aside, Denji's a kid who had nothing growing up besides from Puchita after his father's death living as a Yakuza slave to the point that some of his greatest life's ambitions are some of the basic things humans crave. To eat sliced bread with jam with Puchita, to meet a girl, play video games with her, and fall asleep in her arms. Seeing him grow as a devil hunter and try to find the next goal to strive for, putting his all into it regardless of scope will give fans something to root for. It goes partly into the point on Denji's coming of age and character development, and also into how Chainsaw Man doesn't try and take itself too seriously. But the series makes great use of dark humor throughout its run. A lot of it is used well through Denji and Power, as they're both used comedically and also aren't relegated to cheap comic relief roles. Particularly for Denji, a lot of humor comes coming from him is used through his endearing childlike innocence and ignorance, since he's grown up knowing little outside of human cruelty. With power, it's her so hard to be a cartoonishly over-the-top tyrant despite her deep down empathetic traits. Cases like these are great ways to tastefully inject natural humor and a dark premise. So that said, premise isn't overbearingly grim on the story. Number 5, Action and Gore. Action is the forte of Chainsaw Man, in fact it's one of the main draws of the series. You'll eventually find yourself hoping you'll be seeing another fight every episode just because of how amazingly hyped they end up being. The battles of the devil hunters and the devils themselves are larger than life, and the animations amplify this even further. We promise you that you're looking for action animes full of badass battles, then this is one for you. This series action also boasts of one of the best gore sequences ever in an anime. We're talking about Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan levels of gore during these epic battles. <laughs> Maybe even more. The action scenes are on such a grand scale that seeing the blood splatter is actually a highlight of the watching and has some of the coolest animations to make it even better. In upcoming years, Chainsaw Man will be known for wild action sequences. The brutality and intensity, coupled with his distinct stylistic approach to character design, the fights are fun, intense, and we're just fun to see. Getting to see how the devils and devil hunters use their insane powers got me hyped every time, especially for the really big fights. Number 4, Plot and World Building. Chainsaw Man's world is set on Earth, but in an alternate version where the fears of humanity are represented by and feed the power of devils. These can represent anything from primal fears, such as being afraid of the dark and hell, to scared of guns and other tangible objects and concepts. Chainsaw Man follows the story of our main character Denji, who is down on his luck. Nothing is going his way, and the guy's just generally unhappy. Later on, he loses his life while killing devils for the Yakuza. His chainsaw devil dog sacrifices himself and rebirths Denji as Chainsaw Chainsaw Man. From there on, Chainsaw Man joins a devil hunting organization and hunts devils with other devil hunters. We witness Denji growing firsthand through relationships with new characters as they hunt demons. It's clear that there are some clear absurdities in the world of Chainsaw Man, <laughs> even for an anime. However, it's how it unabashedly embraces these absurdities that make this series work so well. This obviously works for action purposes, but Chainsaw Man relishes in its over-the-top nature shows in world building as well. The 
world, setting, and plot of the series all work together in perfect harmony, masterfully creating a world that feels so large despite the series rarely departing from Tokyo. Antagonists also play a key role here, with many of the series' doubles feeling just as unique and developed as the heroes and main characters are. The world of Chainsaw Man is a compelling one that has set an amazing base for a lot of world building. It offers a very indie and dark type feeling that words just can't describe. The fact that Yakuza are paying guys to kill devils should be enough info to see where things are going from that standpoint. Honestly, one look at Chainsaw Man and you've got a good idea of where the world is going. If there was one word that could describe the world of Chainsaw Man, it would be raw. Number three, animations and MAPPA. Remember how we said the animation amplifies the action of the series? Well, honestly, that goes for literally everything in this show. Chainsaw Man is very raw in tone and all. The raw and gritty animation style directly mirrors this in the best way possible. It's one of those shows where you look at and go, oh yeah, that's so Chainsaw Man. The animation may be too raw or gory for some, but to be honest, we can't imagine the series without its high octane action and fight style, especially if the plot is based around Devils and Chainsaw Man. That's just no fit for the Chainsaw Man world after all. The art design of the manga and trust I have on MAPPA ensures that there are going to be some epic action sequences, which will blow the minds of watchers. This is probably what I'm looking forward to the most. Getting to see a company like MAPPA adapt some of these panels made me explode with excitement each time I saw something extremely cool or terrifying. The fight scenes all feel like they have life to them. Even though they're just a few pages in manga, we can't wait to see how these pages will transfer to our screens and we can enjoy long 10 minute animated fights with MAPPA's adaptation. How MAPPA has handled the animations on Attack on Titan and Jiu Jitsu, this should be one of the strongest points of the anime. Number two, characters and their arcs. The characters of Chainsaw Man are arguably one of the main reasons you'll want to be watching. Each of them offers something different and new to the tale, which will leave you hopping character after character to return. These different characters keep things from losing its luster and keep Chainsaw Man fresh. There's a depth in almost every character and their various skills and characterization definitely makes the series a must watch. Let's take some time to appreciate character designs because man, they're absolutely perfect. Each character looks absolutely perfect for this world and just seeing them in a shot complements a scene. The best part about these designs is that you'll literally feel the characters and what's the motive behind their actions. Not only that, but you can tell a lot about the character through these actions. We feel that those are the marks of powerful character design. Chainsaw Man has an incredibly unique yet deep way of developing its characters and establishing their main traits. While Denji is no doubt a character highlight for the series, he is far from being the only developed person in the series. The writing of every character is absolutely stellar, with each individual having clear and distinct personality traits, goals, motivations, and more. No two characters feel alike in the series. Furthermore, each character arc feels well planned out and pre-conceptualized, rather than feeling like choices were made on the fly as the series progresses. Other Devil Hunters also get their due, such as Aki, who became a fan favorite after his backstory is revealed in the latter half of the series. Makima is arguably just as well developed as Denji also, especially as she progresses through the latter third of the released series. Number one, Chainsaw Man and the dog. Okay, there is absolutely no way you can resist this cute little guy. Puchita is the best thing to come out since Baby Yoda, no questions asked. This cute little canine chainsaw pup is the reason the whole series gets set into motion. Once Denji saves his life, Puchita becomes his pet and sidekick, helping hunt and take out demons left and right. Sadly, in order to save Denji and in turn make him into Chainsaw Man, Puchita had to become his heart. This heals Denji's wounds on a crazy level. The last thing we hear from Puchita is a request for Denji to show him more of his dreams in exchange for being his heart. The main character Denji is flawed big time, mostly when it comes to love and relationships. This makes for a great character that not only has to clean himself up in his devil hunter career, but one that isn't perfect in his normal life either. He's a homeless zombie with nowhere to go but the devil hunters and that makes us want to watch him grow to be better. He's a main character with down to earth goals that are actually achievable. Denji starts out with very simple desires, merely wanting to eat good quality meat and have a physical relationship, clearly desiring quick fixes to his not so ideal life. However, as the series continues, it becomes clear that he's truly emotionally damaged and yearns to love and be loved by someone. Denji also has incredibly real baggage and fears, such as his relationship with his late father and the fear of becoming emotionless after becoming Chainsaw Man one too many times. Thank you for 
watching the video. I hope you liked it. If you have any idea or topic you want us to cover, do let us know in the comments. And please, support us by liking, commenting, and sharing the video. Until next time.